Hello everyone. In this part of hydrodynamic lubrication se lecture series, I, Professor Neha Dixit, going to explain you Reynolds equation and types of hydrodynamic journal wearing. The outcomes of this lecture that learner will be able to explain Reynolds equation and summarize types of hydrodynamic journal. First of all, we will see Reynolds equation of hydrodynamic lubrication. This is the most important equation and uh, just clear the concept regarding the Reynolds equation and terms involved in that equation. Reynolds equation is based on the following assumptions. The lubricant obeys Newton's law of viscosity. The inertia forces of the lubricant are neglected. The flow of lubricant is laminar and lubricant is incompressible. The viscosity of lubricant is constant throughout the film. Most important assumption is the pressure of the lubricant is constant in the direction of the film thickness and film thickness is in the direction of Y and uh, so dp by del y is equal to zero there is a continuous supply of the lubricant and the fluid film is so thin in comparison with the bearing radius that the effect of curve is neglected we will see derivation for the reynolds equation for two dimensional flow see there are two figures that is the location of a fluid film in uh, fluid a fluid element in fluid film and equilibrium of forces of that fluid element figure shows the journal bearing rotating in an anti clockwise direction supported by a fluid film of lubricant of variable thickness h the journal has a constant velocity u select small element of dimension dx dy dz in converging zone as shown in figure so converging zone this is denoted by uh, sorry small fluid element is here denoted by the rectangle that is the fluid element having the thickness h okay and then in next diagram there is a forces resolution acting on that fluid element pressure gradient first we will see consider the forces acting on a fluid element in x direction normal forces due to the fluid pressure p act upon left and right surface of the fluid element whereas the shear forces due to the viscosity acting upon the bottom and top surface of the fluid element so we we have taken one fluid element and in positive x direction and in negative x direction there is a fluid pressure act upon that element and in uh, bottom and top side of the surface there is a shear force due to the viscosity acting on that element so considering the equilibrium of a forces in x direction p that is the fluid pressure into del y by into del into dy into dz plus tau x plus del tau x by del y into dy into dx into dz minus that is the positive side pressure minus negative side pressures tau x into dx into dz minus p plus del p by del x into dx into dy by dz it should be equal to zero so expanding all the terms we will get equation that is the del p by del x is equal to del tau x by del y according to newton's law of viscosity shear force that is the tau x is equal to mu into del u by del y that is the coefficient of viscosity into velocity gradient so tau x value from equation c we are putting in equation b and substituting equation c in equation b we, get, we will get del p by del x that is the pressure gradient in x direction is equal to del of mu into del u by del y with respect to del y so your final equation is pressure gradient del p by del x is equal to mu into del square by by del square u by del y according to newton's law of viscosity we already seen and we already put the tau value of tau so you will get del p by del x is equal to mu into del square u by del y square this equation gives pressure gradient in x direction the pressure gradient in y and z direction is del p by del y is equal to zero this is our assumption that is the pressure gradient in fluid film thickness that is in y direction is equal to zero so according to that assumption del p by del y is equal to zero and del p by del z is equal to mu into del square w divided by del y square now w is the velocity in z direction next is the velocity distribution of a fluid we already covered the pressure distribution now 
for time being we will restrict to analysis in only x direction and from e previous equation del p by del x is equal to mu into del square u by del y square now we want to uh, derive equation for the velocity so rearranging the terms del square u by del y square is equal to 1 upon mu into del p by del x so as there are the uh, second degree derivative so uh, if we want to derive the equation for the velocity u so integrating above the equation twice with respect to y so after integrating first time del u by del y is equal to 1 upon mu del p by del x into y plus c1 it is the first constant and after integrating second time u is equal to 1 upon 2 mu del p by del x into y square plus c1 y plus c2 now for calculating the c1 and c2 value boundary conditions are there at y is equal to 0 that means if support suppose fluid film thickness for the distance y is equal to 0 then velocity is also 0 and if there is a vertical distance that is the uh, maximum fluid film thickness is there that is the edge then velocity is equal to maximum velocity that is the capital u so substituting this both equation we will get the c2 and c1 value and put that c2 and c1 value in previous equation then your equation is mu u is equal to 1 upon 2 mu del p by del x y square minus h y plus u upon h into y this equation gives a velocity distribution of lubricant in the film as a function of y and pressure gradient del p by del x it gives the velocity in x direction of any layer in the fluid film between y0 y is equal to 0 and y is equal to h next parameter is the flow rate of a fluid that is the q the flow rate of lubricant in x direction per unit width of z direction is given by q is equal to integration of mu into dy from 0 to h so substituting the value of velocity from the previous equation we will get this equation that is the q is equal to 1 upon 2 mu integration of 1 upon 2 mu into del p by del x into y square minus h y plus u upon h into y with respect to dy from 0 to so rearranging the, uh, sorry integrating the equation and rearranging uh, uh, sorry integrating the equation and applying the boundary conditions that is from 0 to h and rearranging the terms you will get the equation that is the flow rate in x direction is qx is equal to minus h cube upon 12 mu into del p by del x plus mu h upon 2. Similarly, the flow rate of lubricant in z direction per unit width x direction is given by qz is equal to 1 upon h cube upon 12 mu del p by del z plus w into h divided by 2 while w is the velocity of a surface in z direction. Now, we are moving Reynolds equation for the two-dimensional flow. Assuming there is a no flow of lubricant in y direction, that is in the direction of a fluid film thickness, the continuity equation for steady state with the incompressible lubricant can be written as del q x plus divided by del x plus del q z divided by del z, it should be equal to 0. Substituting the value of qx and qz and rearranging the terms, we will get the final equation the, the partial derivative of h cube upon mu into del p by del x with respect to del x plus partial derivative of h cube upon mu into del p by del z with respect to del z is equal to 6 into partial derivative of u into h with respect to del x plus partial derivative of w into h with respect to del z and this is the Reynolds equation for the two dimensional flow. We also rearrange the terms for the Reynolds equation for the one dimensional flow. So, simplified Reynolds equation for the two dimensional flow, velocity u and w are not the function of x and z. Also, according to assumptions, mu is constant. Therefore, the equation is written as partial derivative of h cube, h cube into del p by del x with respect to del x plus partial derivative of h cube into del p by del z with respect to del z is equal to 6 into mu in bracket u into dh by dx plus w into dh by z. 
it is in fact very hard to think if any moving system where which h is very in two direction that is in x direction also and in z direction also so hence substituting dh by dz is equal to 0 a simplified equation is h cube partial derivative of h cube upon del p by del x with respect to del x and partial plus del, uh, partial derivative of h cube into del p by del z with respect to del z is equal to only 6 into mu into u into dh by dx so reynolds equation for one dimensional flow is del partial derivative of h cube upon del p by del x with respect to del x is equal to 6 mu into u into dh by dx for one dimensional flow they, uh, consider there is a no flow in z, z direction then del p by del z is equal to 0 next simple topic is types of hydrodynamic journal bearing first one is infinitely long journal bearing in this the journal bearing with length to diameter ratio that is l upon d diameter ratio is greater than 2 is known as the infinitely long journal bearing next type is infinitely short or narrow journal bearing the journal bearings with length to diameter ratio l upon d ratio is less than 0.5 are considered as infinitely short or narrow journal bearing while third and most important type is finite length journal bearing the journal bearing with length to diameter ratio between 0.5 to 2 are considered as a finite length journal bearing this is i highlighted because uh, this is the most important types of type of hydrodynamic journal bearing and in your syllabus the study of finite length journal bearing is only included in next session we are going to see details of finite length journal bearing and parameters related to finite length journal bearing. Thank you for watching this.